pretty cool. Got to share this with you. I had to build, I'm building my wife a pepper mill. And uh, I need an inch and one sixteenth bore. And it wasn't, my bit wasn't long enough for an eight inch pepper mill. So I had to come up with something. And uh, I had an inch and one sixteenth uh, Forstner bit. So I did a little checking. Tried to come up with an idea of how I could make this longer. Well, I did. And I'll share it with you here in just a second. If I can figure it out. And here's what I've done. I've taken a Forstner bit. Let me get out of the light here. And what I've done is I've taken just a regular 3 8 uh, extension for uh, just a ratchet. Just regular 3 8 extension. Well, the Forstner bit, when turned at, uh, I think this is probably a 3 8 chuck, or for a 3 8 chuck, will fit perfect into the end of an extension. So what I did is I come to my grinder, my gr I came to my grinder, grinder over here, and I ground a real small groove in the end of my Forstner bit. And then I took a little old small nail and what happens is you take that groove and you put in the very corner of the end of this which I'll take it apart here in a second and you dutch key it I just drilled a six inch hole with it everything's spot on now follow me around right here and I'm going to take this loose now here's how easy it is all I did is take a uh, um Adjustable wrench to the size of the nail head. All right, set it down there. Smack it. Well, it would probably be better if you put this in a vise, but I'm gonna try to do it so I can get this video. I may have to go over and put it in a vise to get it to work. Let's swap ends. Let's put the pliers on this end. Use the wrong tools. Anyway, you take it out, and there you have it. That's hot because I just got through drilling an eight-inch hole. And here's what you do. This bit, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's the square head. Okay, all four corners are square. Well, when you take something round, and you, it's just a slight little groove, and that dude's so hot I can hold on to it. I was drilling some hole now. This little groove right here, if you can see it or not, it's just a very slight groove just on the edge of my grinding rock. All right, it doesn't affect your Forstner bit because your Forstner bit only secures on three places on most chucks. So you can afford to put that little slight groove in there and not hurt your Forstner bit. And when you Dutch key it, you're wedging a nail or whatever device in that groove into the corner, I don't know if you can see or not, the corner of this square, and it holds. I just drilled through a seasoned boat arc and uh, drilled five inches as far as I need to go. I could have went the full length of this. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you, it's a neat idea if you get in a bind and you're, you're uh, running your lathe and you need a deep hole, as long as you've got a uh, extension, 3 8 drive extension, with uh, your Jacobs chuck, I mean these Forstner bits, which I believe this is, here I'll tell you, 375, that's 3 8 All right, a 3 8 end bit will fit in there just perfect. And when you Dutch key it, and it may be a little bit off center, okay, but, uh, and if you need really tight tolerances, and I wouldn't do this, I'd go a size under, but for just a roundabout dimensional hole, it's perfect. Enjoy.